Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media, I am Mac, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. Yes I am, better and cheaper than the BBC, capiche? So, what are we talking about today? Well, as you know, it's, well, I'm going to call this Mopster Sunday, because we're talking about Al Capone. So there you go, it's Al Capone, Alphonse Gabriel Capone. Sometimes known by the nickname Scarface, was an American gangster and businessman who attained notoriety during the Prohibition era as the co founder and boss of the Chicago outfit. Is even a year outfit, his seven year reign as crime boss ended when he went to prison at age 33. So, born. 17th of January 19, 18, 1899, Brooklyn, New York, United States. Died 25th of January, Miami Beach, Florida, United States. Siblings Frank Capone, Richard James Art, Ralph Capone, Umberto Capone, and Matthew Capone. Albert Francis Capone. Buried for 4th of February. 1947, Mount Camel Catholic. So, we'll, we'll continue with this. So, like I says, Alphonse Capone. Alphonse Gabriel Capone. January 17, 1899. January 25th, 1947. Sometimes known by the nickname Scarface. Was an American gangster. Businessman who attained no titles during the Prohibition era as the co founder and boss of the Chicago outfit, his seven year reign as a crime boss ended when he went to prison at the age of 33. So, yeah, Capone was only a young person when he did it. So, Alphonse Capone. Yeah, his resting place is Mount Caramel Cemetery. Other names, Scarface, Big Al, Big Boy, Public Enemy, Number One, Snorky. <laughs> There's not really a lot. Al Capone was born in New York City in 1889 to an Italian immigrant parents. He joined the Five Points Gang as a teenager and became a bouncer in organised crime premises such as brothels in his early 20s. He moved to Chicago, become bodyguard and trusted factotum for Johnny Torrio, head of the criminal syndicate that illegally supplied alcohol, the forerunner of the outfit, and was politically protected through the Union Siciliana and conflict with the North Side. Gang was instrumental Capone's rise and fall. Torino went to retirement after North Side gunmen almost killed him, handling control to Capone. Capone expanded the the bootlegging business through increasingly violent means, but his mutually profitable relationship with Mayor William Ale Thompson and the city's police meant he seemed to say from law enforcement Capone apparently relieved revealed in attention such as the cheers from spectators when he appeared at ball games he made donations to various charities and was viewed by many as a modern day Robin Hood however the St Valentine's Day massacre in which seven gang rivals were murdered in board Daylight damaged the public image of Chicago and Capone, leading influential citizens to demand government action and newspapers to dub Capone public enemy number one. The federal authorities became intent on jailing Capone, charged him with, with 22 counts of tax evasion. He was convicted of five accounts in 1931 during Eiley, publicised case, the judge admitted as evidence Capone's admissions of his 
income or unpaid taxes made during prior. Ultimately, abortive and negotiations to pay the government taxes he owed. He was convicted and sentenced to 11 years federal prison after conviction. He replaced his defence team with experts in tax law and his grounds for appeal were strengthened by Supreme Court ruling. But this appeal ultimately failed. Capone showed signs of, of neurus thistle early in his sentence and became increasingly debilitated, bef uh, debilitated before being released after almost eight years of incarceration on January 25th, 1947. He died cardiac arrest after a stroke. So, so there you go. That's Al Capone. Yeah, not a very nice man. Nasty, nasty piece of work, really, when you think about it. Well, all, all Italian mobsters and gangsters are nasty, nasty piece of work. You know what I mean? But... I do take it that he died out. He, he died out of prison. He does show on films that he was stabbed to death. You know what I mean? But I don't know. You know. Uh, due to his failing health, Capone was released from prison on November the sixteenth, nineteen thirty-nine, and referred to the Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore for treatment for syphilitic paresis due to his unsavoury reputation. John Hopkinson refused to treat him, but nearby Union Memorial Hospital was still willing to take him as a patient. Capone was grateful for the compassionate care that he received and donated two Japanese weeping cherry trees to Union Memorial Hospital in 1939. After a few weeks of inpatient and outpatient care, March 29th, very sickly Capone left Baltimore travelled to his mansion in Palm Island Florida in 1942 after a mass production of penicillin was started in the United States Capone was one of the first American patients treated by the new drug though it was too late for him to reverse the damage to his brain it did slow down the progression of the disease in 1946, his physician and Baltimore psychi psychiatrist examined him and concluded that Capone had mentally of a 12-year-old child. He spent the last years of his life at his mansion in Palm Island, Florida, spending time with his wife and grandchildren. On January, 20, what, 20, on January the 21st, 1947, Capone had a stroke in the regained consciousness and started to improve but contracted bronchopneumonia he suffered cardiac arrest on january 22nd and on january 25th surrounded by his family in his home capone died after his heart failed as a result of apoplexy his body was transported back to chicago a week later and private funeral was held he was originally buried at Mount Olivet Cemetery in Chicago in 1950. Capone's remains, along with those of his father, Gabriel and brother Frank, were moved to Mount Caramel Cemetery, Hillside, Illinois. Capone's death certificate now. So there you go. Yeah, that's all there is really on Al Capone. A nasty piece of work, eh? may I add. He was a nasty piece of work. Very intelligent. He should have paid his taxes. If he'd have paid his taxes, he wouldn't have got caught. It's as simple as that, but like all gangsters, they make mistakes, you know what I mean? But yeah, Al Capone. Yeah. Very, very notorious um, 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 gangster back in the Prohibition era. He was only young when he started. I mean, he was in his early 20s. He died at 33. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. He, he was only a young person. When he's been played in films, it's always an older man who plays him. It he, he shouldn't be. Get a decent young actor and do a decent Al Capone film. That's what we need, really. You know what I mean? And he said, you know what I mean? So Al Capone, you know, gangster. 
you know what I mean? And he, you know, so, yeah, I mean, and that's what it is. So, I hope you like this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit the, <laughs> hit the bell, hit the, hit the bell icon and hit all. That will let you know when I put up a video. Please share the video to your friends and family and to all the social media. Like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And Twitch and Bing. And also please use the comment section down below. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now. Capiche?